Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms Beekeeping Channel. All right, this morning I am going to melt wax, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to do this. I actually have the Maxent wax melter slash clear, um, decrystallizer you know, tank, but I don't have that much <coughs> cappings. My puppy is down here. She, I have all my scrap wood from working down here, and I don't mind her chewing at it, but look what she grabbed. She grabbed the brand new frame. For a, uh, for a super, so she can't chew on these. Anyways, um, I've got my Maxent wax, uh, wax melter slash crystallizer tank, but I'm not gonna use that because it's, it's pretty good size and I don't have that much wax. What I'm gonna melt today, or right now, is my wax cappings from when we process the honey because I'm gonna take this wax and I'm gonna make chapstick or lip balm or something with it, so I don't wanna mix out by the in the bee yard in my little uh, my little chest out there where I keep all the you know the the lighter you know where I keep all the stuff for the smoker and all my tools and stuff that wax out there from you know from scraping bird comb and all that I'm gonna melt that down separately and either use it for frames or something but I don't want to mix that with the with the really nice wax that I'm gonna make chapstick or lip balm with so I don't have a whole lot I got about a half a bucket. And I'll show you, but this is really easy. Let me show you what I got here. All right, what I got here is just an old turkey roaster. I bought this at the Salvation Army for like nine dollars, and it works great for this. And this is so easy to do. I have some old wax in here, some old dirty wax. I'm going to scrape this out of here really quick, and then uh, I let a friend of mine borrow it. And you can see there's some clean wax. You can see there's some clean wax in the bottom, but some of this dirty wax. here and you can use like a crock pot I mean there's all kinds of ways you can well melt melt wet wet there's all kinds of different ways you can melt wax okay I scraped all that dirty wax out I just kind of I brushed it out I just ran a little bit of water in it I have to check on my puppy she comes down here and she wants to chew on like everything and I gotta make sure that she's not chewing on anything that's important like one of my brand new I got all my all my my whole stack of you can see it down there right here that's all those are all brand new frames supers and deeps and we don't need her chewing on those so back to the wax all we're gonna do I always buy brand new buckets too for all this stuff and I just I purposely keep it for this see all that in there that's all the wax cappings from when we process the honey so this is all nice and clean this will be my lip balm slash chapstick making uh, honey one thing to keep in mind if you store your wax I learned this the hard way like my old saying ask me how I know if you store your wax like in a bucket Keep it sealed, especially if it's outside. This was been down in the basement. We we processed the wax. We we decapped. We processed everything. I put the wax in this bucket and I put this lid on it. You can buy these lids, and they just snap right on. But I did one a couple years ago. I put the lid on, and I actually had it down here, but it was outside for a while. Some bugs got in it. I came down here. I was going to do this, and I opened the lid. It was the most disgusting thing you ever seen. All the bugs that had hatched in there. It was just gross. I mean, it was just. Oh, it was like it was like looking at a bunch of maggots. It was just gross. They all got in the wax, and they kept just multiplying. It wasn't really even wax moths. It was just all kinds of nasty bugs. And it turned out it was cold out when this happened. So I put it outside when it was like 10 degrees, and of course it killed it all. And I just dumped all. I actually tried to melt that wax down just to just to, just to play around, but it was just nasty. I just threw the whole thing away. I melted it down, it got hard, I just tossed the whole thing out. So, piece of advice, keep it covered, especially if it's outside. Snap up, get one of these lids and they, it just snaps on it, it seals it. This way nothing can get into it. And this has been down here in the basement this whole time. So anyways, what I'm going to do is take this wax. You can see this. Let's get over here. Dump it in. Boy, this smells really good. Oh, there's more here than I thought. And if you go back to some of my previous videos and look at the video on my, my Maxim Wax uh, spinner that I got, oh, I love that. See how nice it is to look? It's like, 
It's almost it's almost just dry. It, it's not dry, but it just feels like that. When that thing spins all that wax out or all that honey out, you can go back and check out that video on this. There, see how nice that is? All right, let me just wash, let me just, well, here, I'll do it here. All I'm gonna do is dump the water in. Plug it in. You can see all this okay, right? Yeah, just plug it in. Actually, there's more in here than I thought. I probably could have used my, my new wax melter, but that's okay. And I just got an old dollar store spoon, slotted spoon. This really doesn't take long to heat up. Well, that smells really good. That's nice. That's nice looking wax. And obviously, this has to be strained. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here in a second. So let's just take this. I got it on. Let me turn it. So I just turn it on 350, cover it up, it's getting warm and ready, let it go. Once it all melts, I'll show you the next step here. All right, so what I got going here, this is the bucket it's gonna get melted into. This is a nice clean bucket. You can see I melted some wax in there already. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get melted into this bucket. So what I did is I put, I took a lid. I just took an old bucket lid that I've had laying around that just sits on top of there. I've got another, I wish I could get this camera in there, right? I've got another bucket that's got holes in it, okay? So this bucket, this is just an old dirty bucket I don't store nothing in here but dirty wax, but it's got holes in it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this bucket that I put the lid in, I cut that ring out. This will sit right on top. Let me show you. So I put the lid on, cut the ring out, just set it on there. This sets right on top of there. So now you can see, it's almost like a strainer. See the holes? And those holes aren't being blocked at all by this lid. You take this, you can buy these like it, I get it at Menards. But what it is, is a paint strainer. You go back in, a, in, back in the paint department area, and they're, they're made for straining paint. And they're made to fit over five gallon buckets, so this works out perfect. Just snap this on here, fits on really nice. When the wax is melted, I will dump that in there. That will catch all the, all some of the dirty stuff in that wax, some of the, either if it's a dead bee or little pieces of whatever. It should be pretty clean, because it came right off the, right off the, um, off the frames. So this will catch all of that, and this will all run through the wax. All the water of the wax will run right through this, through those holes, into this bucket and then this you pretty much just throw it away they're cheap I forget I don't remember how much it cost I bought a bunch of them last year it wasn't a couple bucks I think that wasn't much but you just pour all that wax in here it'll run through it'll come down to the bottom of the bucket and just let it sit overnight whatever till it hardens and there's your wax and I'll show you all that when we're done here so for right now Actually, there's a little bit of wax left in this bucket. I'm going to run some water through here. You see it? I'm going to just get that out of there. So 
don't want to waste anything here. And it doesn't matter. Just take it, dump it in. And it's getting warm, you can feel it already. Where's my spoon? Just let it melt. It doesn't matter how much water you put in. So we're just going to let this go. And when it's all melted, I'll come back and I'll show you. It's starting to melt now. It'll, it'll take a little while. So we'll let all this melt. Let me time this here. We'll see how long this takes. And when this is all melted, I'll come back and we'll finish up this video. So I'll be back when this is melted. All right, we're back. It's been, well, it's been about two and a half hours. You see it? <laughs> It's boiling really good here. I'm actually going to turn this off, but you can still think I'll stop boiling that fast. Do that. That is all melted. Here's where it gets hairy. <laughs> now you got to take this and dump it into that. I've got one shot at this. Um, yeah, I've got one shot at this, so if I burn myself, whatever you guys are going to see it, I won't delete nothing here. But you can see how hot that is and hot wax really burns. You really got to be careful. So I'm going to let that stop boiling for a second. I can actually take this out and put it on my bench get it out of here. I've got... If anybody ever, if anybody ever remembers the Of Gloves they ever tie, they still probably sell them. I've had these things forever. These things are really nice. These, these Of Gloves, you could, I can pick this up and not even feel it. So I'm going to use these to pick this out of here and dump it into the bucket. I got one shot, so we'll see what happens. So I think what I'll do is I'll take it out of here first, get it out of here, and set it on my bench. It, ain't gonna, it doesn't matter, it's my wooden bench. So I'm going to very carefully slide that back. Get the elf gloves on. I don't want to wait too long because the, the, uh, the wax will start to set. Out, set it there. Really hot. Okay, now here. This is where it gets interesting. I only did. Yeah, the, the bucket that I used to fill that up isn't more than a five-gallon pail, so. That should be good. All right, that's not boiling as much as it was, see? It's not bubbling like it was. So what I'm, uh, 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 okay, yeah, you can have that, go. This puppy wants to chew on everything. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna pour this right into here through that strainer. And you can even see, even though this was brand new, clean wax right off the cup, right off the, off the capping, it's still got some dirt to it, so. Let's really carefully. show you this here. I got plenty of room. I'm still a good couple of, I'm still this far from the top of the bucket, so I'm going to let that drain for a minute. Let me show you the inside of this. You can see See all that in there? That's all the nasty stuff. So the, I'm going to let this just drain in the hair. Ah, a little bit of it spilled, but not bad. You can see, I don't want to pick this up too high. It's still dripping, so I'm going to leave it just like that. We'll leave it like that for now. So that's it. She's draining. That wasn't too bad. I didn't burn myself or anything. That's odd. I'm always hurting myself, cutting something, burning, whatever. 
Yeah, these strainers work out really, and they're cheap. You could get, I think there's just like a three pack for like a dollar or two. They're really cheap. And it works out really, really well. It's a really fine mesh. So that's how you melt wax. So I guess what I'll do to finish, actually to finish this video up, I'm gonna, I will come back tomorrow and finish this video so you guys can see what it looks like after it hardens. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this just drain, obviously, until it's done. I've got plenty of space between here and the top of that bucket, so we're good. So we'll come back tomorrow and I'll finish this video. This way you can see what, it, what the wax looks like when it's, done and as it cools off in that bucket the wax the wax will just rise to the top of the water you just pull it right out and i might have to no 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 really you have to start paying upstairs look at my puppy is grabbing she's grabbing my frames you can't do that this dog loves to chew on stuff no this is not i don't mind her chewing on the scrap but not my good stuff i, I no kind of love puppies right no. Leave it. Come here. Come here. Come on camera. Come here. Lily, come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Lily, come here. So. This is Lily. She loves to chew on stuff. You can't eat my beehive frames. I don't mind her chewing on my scrap. All behind my table is all the, all the scraps there. You can chew on that. You can't chew that. So anyway, we will come back, and I will. We'll sh I'll show you what it looks like when this is already melted. Like I said, the wax will harden; it'll float to the top. We'll pull it out. We might have to do it again. I don't know. Sometimes you got to do this a couple of times to get all this stuff out of it. So, we'll, and I, I want to make sure it's really clean because I'm going to make, like I said, uh, lip uh, chapstick or lip balm or something out of it. So, anyways, we will be back tomorrow morning, and we'll see what it looks like harder. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, welcome back. It's the next morning. We're going to check the wax. It's cool. It's hard. A little cracked. Let me show you here. So what we'll do, you can see... What I'm going to do is dump the water out, and then we're going to see how much wax we actually got out of this. You can smell it. And you can see it probably needs to maybe be melted down again. Oh, and here, oh, and here is the, here's that net. <laughs> that doesn't smell bad, but here's, here's what they call a slum. I, I believe the correct term is slum. This is all the dirt that got filtered out of it. So actually, when I redo this again, which I don't need to show you, the video is the same exact. It's the same exact thing. So I'm going to reuse this net. Ain't no point in throwing it away. So I will just take this stuff and throw it out. And when I run the hot water and wax through it again, it'll just all remelt it, but it'll catch more of the junk. So I'm probably going to do this again. So let's see what this looks like. My little system worked out great. See the holes in the bottom of the bucket? It worked out great. Just sit right on there and drain. Sit right there and drain into the other bucket. Let me get something and just kind of cut around this. I'm gonna just cut around that rim. I was kind. Of, I was kind of hoping it would just float to the top. Okay, so here's. I'm not sure where that cut out at. Battery died. <laughs> So here's what it looks like, there's a piece of it. You can see on the back side, if I didn't filter, all that slum would be on the bottom. So I'm, before I redo it again, I'm gonna scrape all that off. It's just a thin layer of, 
doesn't smell bad. You can see there's a little bit of brown there. So I am going to read, since I'm doing this, I'm going to use this for like a chapstick or a lip balm. I'm going to okay. I'm going to filter it one more time. So it's got like a little layer of white, or like a little layer of powdery slum on the bottom, but not as dirty. Looks good. I'm gonna redo it one more time. We'll see if we can get some of that, some of that brown out of there. Just some small pieces here, but I was kind of hoping it would just float up in one block and it didn't. <laughs> See this here. That's okay. That's the majority of it. So, anyways, that's how you melt wax. So, it'll come out pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to scrape the bottoms of this a little bit, and I'm going to dump it in some water, reheat it, and filter it again, and we're good to go. And then when I go to actually make the lip balm, well, actually chapstick, I got the tubes and the little holder. When I go to make that, we'll make that a separate video. I'm going to try and make like a winter green. Somebody, one person suggested cinnamon. One of my customers suggested peppermint. So I got a bunch of different ideas here. So this is uh, what it looks like. So check out this playlist on extracting all my honey extracting. And you can see how when you scrape the frames, when you go to process the honey, and you can see how these cappings all came out and collected. So I will talk to you guys really soon. All right, bye.